Hello, this is the Provoke Prawn, and it, here I'm talking about fixing Corsair's IQ RGB, as in what to do if you have problems with your RGB lighting, because you've got it set up really nicely, just the way you want it, whether that's responding to in-game visuals or just a certain color scheme throughout your various different RGB products from Corsair. But then every now and then it just resets back to rainbow, and you have rainbow puke in your case, and you can't work out why. And it's frustrating. Well, I'm here to help you with a few different tips on what to do to optimize the RGB lighting and to fix any problems. So one of the first things I'd recommend doing, and it's a bit boring because it's the old classic turn it off and on again, but is basically to check for IQ updates. You can do this from the cog in the top right of IQ, and then you'll see there's an option there to check for updates. Now, I'd actually tell you that this isn't the best way to do it. And if you are having problems, I'd highly recommend just completely uninstalling IQ and then reinstalling it again. Now, this might seem a bit extreme, but what I've often found is the update system through IQ's updates section within IQ doesn't actually work properly. It doesn't give you the latest version. If I uninstall and then re-download it from the IQ website, that actually seems to be more effective in most instances. You have the option when uninstalling to delete all your profiles and things. You probably don't want to do that in most instances unless you want to be really extreme about it and start from scratch. I find it can be beneficial, but if you set things up the way you want them to, you might not want to tick that box. But go through the uninstallation process. Just remove IQ from your computer and then we're going to download it again. The idea here is simply that we get different versions. And if you remember just in that screenshot there, it said version 5.4. Just remember that for a second, because when we download from the Corsair IQ website, you can get in here and download the latest version, download directly from IQ, and then go through the installation process. You'll see here it's got some extra modules to install now and to make sure that everything's running properly. These modules weren't in there in the previous version. That's one of the reasons to grab the latest version of IQ wherever possible, and then restart your system as required. Now, you go through this process of doing this, and then obviously we've then got to set things up the way we want them. And I'm gonna show you a couple of hints here on problem fixing. But one of the things I wanna show you is if you go into the settings now, and check for updates, obviously everything's updated, but it's also worth checking firmware updates. So Corsair IQ Link System or Commander Cores, Commander Pros, anything like that, check for firmware updates and then software updates specifically. If you've just downloaded like, the latest update, you should have it. But one of the things that I have noticed in here, for example, is if we go into the software update, you'll see it says 5.4.98. So that's actually a higher version than what would have happened if I'd just downloaded it from IQ itself. One of the quirks of the system. Now, this is a basic setup tip as well. So if you've just started out setting it up, you can run a wizard and this will work with a commander core and with IQ link. So it worked with various different products. Basically, it runs through an intelligent wizard that works out what fans you've got plugged in and then it gives you a representation of where they are on your system. You probably know about this if you've already set it up, but just in case you don't, essentially it shows you a color for each fan. You can see it represented here. Basically, one color is lit up on each fan, a different color, and you can see them in the position in your case. And this is like the hardware position of where you've put them in the case. And then you can use the software to then reposition the fans according to where they are. This helps then with lighting sync. So if you have an effect that runs from one fan to the next, to the next, to the next, it makes sure to put them in the right order and then it'll look nicer. So in the wizard, you can then drag and drop and reposition the fans according to the actual lighting in the real world of where you want them and the sort of ordering of them. And then this will work. Now that's a basic setup tip, but it might help in some instances. Again, that'll work with the Commander Core, Commander Pro and other devices as well. Now, the biggest problem that you might have, and the one that you've probably hit the most, is when you've set up your lighting effects in a way that you like, under the lighting effects tab, in whatever device you're using, whichever fans, for example, you're using, you can set up multiple different layers and do other clever things and get it all looking really nice. But then when you kill off IQ, lock your computer, or even just turn it off and on again, so when you're in the reboot process, you'll find that it's reset to rainbow or something similar and it's horrible and that's not what you want so the tip here is look for hardware lighting under the hardware lighting setting you'll see it says your device will be playing the setting effect when iq is not running so essentially what we're doing is your hardware programming it so you're putting it into the memory 
of the system rather than into the software. So you're not relying on the software. You can then set a specific color or whatever effect you want, your preference, and then that will then be in the memory. And then when IQ is not running, because let's say you choose not to have it run on the startup, or maybe you just turn your computer off and turn it back on again, like I said, and it will just be there and it will be the way you want it. So one of the things I like to do on mine, for example, is to set a static color and then to just dim it down a bit because perhaps you might, you know, uh, lock your computer to do something in the background, go away for a while and a couple of hours or something and then come back to it. You don't want your computer doing a little disco show of RGB lighting in your room when you're not there and you're not seeing it. It's just a waste of power. So why not have it set to a really low blue or maybe even black or just a dimmer thing, maybe less responsive. It's up to you what you do, but this is just some examples. But the important point here is hardware lighting will solve your issues and you'll no longer have that rainbow effect constantly coming on. And hopefully some of these other tips have been helpful too. And then you can just enjoy your case the way you want it to be. This has been the Provoke Pro, and if you enjoyed this video, subscribe for more and check out the links in the description to other tips and tricks for Corsair things you might find helpful. Thanks for watching.